What's up everybody? The weekend is almost here and we are back with another video. And as you can see, we're on the road. We have about an hour to our destination. Check out where we're going right after this. Right, everyone we've actually reached our destination we are at Delmarva RV Center in Milford Delaware and Dave tell them what we're gonna to be touring today all right folks so today we are gonna show you something a little bit different we're going to show you a park mile or as some call a destination trailer uh, for those of you who are new to this uh, destination trailer or a park model is one that you pull to a campsite or land that you have and just keep it there so that, it, so that it's sort of a home away from home. I want that. <laughs> so what we're going to show you today is a Wildwood Forest River Grand Lodge 42 DL. So let's get started and look at the specs on this unit. This unit has a hitch weight of 1,855 pounds a total weight of 12,719 pounds. It has an exterior length of 41 feet, 10 inches, an exterior height of 13 feet total. It also has an exterior width of 102 inches. The freshwater, great water, and black water tanks are as follows. Fresh water is 39 gallons, gray water is 80 gallons, black water is 40 gallons. All right, starting out at the front of this unit, you see this houses two 20 pound propane tanks. This unit also has a manual hitch to bring your unit up and down. Moving on around to this side, you have your first slide, which is inside your bedroom. Underneath, you have storage, which is a decent size for this type of unit. Here you have an outside spray shower area. We can't get into it because it's locked, unfortunately. It also looks like you have storage inside this area, which is locked as well. Here you have your city water connection. Just run your hose Connect it right here. Your furnace exhaust. Moving right along, we come down to where your wastewater tank is and your sewer outlet. You hook up your hose to here, run it to your sewer. Open and close the valves right here. This unit also has 16 inch rims as well as E-rated tubeless tires. And they're sitting on two 6,000 pound axles. Here you have the slide to your kitchen area. That has your exhaust from your microwave and stove, as well as a nice framed window, which you'll see on the inside. All right, moving right along. We come towards the back of the unit where here you have your plug-in for your 50 amp cord that runs all of your electrical outlets on the inside. Let's go to the back. Huge, huge windows. It comes with your standard lighting in the back. These are not LED. Here you can hook up your cable and your satellite to the back of the unit. Let's walk around to, the, to this side. Here you have your other slide, which has your theater seating inside your living room area. This unit is also prepped for slide toppers if you so choose to put them on there. Now also along the top, you see there is a 20 foot electric awning that comes out 
on those sunny days, you can get yourself some shade. You also have a sliding glass door that goes inside the unit with the standard steps to go in and out. But a lot of these units, people will normally put a nice wood deck outside here. It makes it look really, really nice out at the campgrounds. Also out here for this 42DL, you have outside speakers, cable hookup, and two electrical outlets for outside. Moving right along, we have another entrance door, but we'll show you where that leads to in just a few minutes. Also has the steps. So Kim, you ready to head on inside and see what's in there? I'm ready because I'm cold. All right, let's go. All right, we're inside this 42DL. Starting off, you see there's plenty of windows. Well, ample lighting inside this unit. Right here, we have the standard dining room table with your four chairs. And as usual, two of the seats have storage. You've got your blackout shades. On all of your windows. Moving right along, we come to our theater seating two-tone with two cup holders, manual recline, inside the living room area on the floor of course this has your standard carpeting And as we move right along to the living room couch, which is also a fold out couch where you can sleep two other individuals or three children if you like. On each side of the couch, you have end tables. Also with electrical outlets on each side, if you want to put lamps or something electrical on each side of your couch. More window space, lots of windows to bring that sunshine in or to look out and see your beautiful camping area. Up top, we have the Coleman mock air conditioning system and also a nice ceiling fan inside this unit. We're gonna move right along to the entertainment center. Very nice, large, Westinghouse television, along with a Furion soundbar for all your listening pleasures. This also comes with the Greystone 36 inch fireplace with lighting for ambiance. area very nice size pantry unfortunately unfortunately there is no lighting inside the pantry but it looks like you can get quite a lot of uh, items inside your pantry we come to the kitchen island one piece top with double sinks You have this here to dry your uh, your uh, items if you want to. Also, it has the standard pull down faucet with dual modes. So another nice feature that this island has, you have a light that you can turn on that shines at the bottom of the island. You also 
have a light above your slide. We've got plenty of storage above the counter. Also a nice window behind the kitchen counter with plenty of storage again with the drawers and look at this folks this is a huge huge drawer and we have two of those we have here the Furion three burner stove top as well as the Furion oven standard RV style oven and a Whirlpool microwave. On top of the microwave, we have more storage. Here you have the Whirlpool residential style refrigerator. Lots and lots of space in there. Three doors, two on the top, with your freezer on the bottom. Now we come over to the coffee bar counter, where you also have electrical outlets. You have your heating and air module here. Also, the command center that has your battery levels, your fresh, black, black, and gray uh, water levels, as well as lighting, a slide in and out, and more lights. Let's move on to the back of this unit. Here you have a sliding glass door. We're gonna move on into the bathroom. Inside the bathroom, you have a two-piece shower with seat, storage, that also has your electric water heater switch to turn on and off. More storage for your towels and things that you need. Vanity mirror. Standard faucet with recessed sink. Storage for toothbrushes or things that you need to put here. Another drawer. And extra storage down below. Now, let's go to where this unit shines. Follow me. We are heading up these stairs to the loft area. On the left side of these stairs, you see an upstairs loft for kids to sleep in. That also has curtains for privacy, a little storage area, as well as a window for the kids to look out and see what's going on outside. To the right of this loft area, you have another section with two twin beds, storage, area for TV, plenty of room up here for the kids to enjoy. Let's go back downstairs to see what's going on to the front of this unit. And as we come downstairs from the loft area, you will see that there is a central vacuum system, the road vac system. You can sweep your dirt inside here or connect your hose here to vacuum throughout your unit, get your floors and your rugs. Let's step down into the master bedroom. Inside the master bedroom, it has its own entrance from the outside.
We have a nice dresser here with plenty of storage. Drawers galore. You also have your fuses and circuit breakers inside the master bedroom. Here you have three windows that's at the front of the unit where you can see outside, get plenty of sunlight, as well as a countertop here and more storage. Excuse us, they left the TV box inside the bed, inside the bedroom. <laughs> All right, moving right along, we have a walk around queen size bed with electrical outlets on both sides, two USB ports on each side. You have two lights above the bed for reading. and also storage above the bed. Here you have four doors into your wardrobe to hang your hangers with your clothing there. goes all the way across and again you still have more drawers inside this wardrobe area. Let's move back into the living room area. All right, everyone, that concludes this video of the Forest River Wildwood Grand Lodge 42DL. What do you think about this unit, Kim? Well, me personally, I've always liked park models. If we could, I would actually get a park model and park it someplace and then use our fifth wheel to travel. That way you'd have the best of both worlds yeah. and you don't have to keep moving your camper off your um, off your site. Uh, this for me would actually work out very well for uh, our family. Uh, I think it sleeps seven, is that right? Yeah. Um, and I really like that. I, I walked in and fell in love with this, but again, I like park models, so. Yeah. Yep, it's a very nice unit. So we hope you folks enjoyed this. So what we're gonna do is head out from here and go get something to eat. Are you hungry, Kim? Please, I cannot believe he even asked me that. Do y'all believe he even asked me that? That's why I'm so fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so before we leave and head out, we just wanna give a special thanks to Rob and to Adam 
here at Delmarva RV Center in Milford, Delaware for allowing us to come in and tour this wonderful unit. We appreciate that, guys. We absolutely do. They pulled it up and opened up the slides. They take very good care of us. Yes, so, always. And again, we're not being compensated in any way. We we're just bringing this footage to you in case someone's interested in, you know, park models, um, different type of campers. If there's something that you're interested in seeing, let us know. I mean, if they have it here, we would definitely uh, give you a tour. So just just uh, hit us up on email and we'll take care of it for you. Absolutely. And our email is wonderfulweekenders at gmail.com. All right, that does it for this video. If this is your first time seeing us, please subscribe to our channel. And if you've been here before, definitely hit that like button. It helps us out. All right. So, folks, we just want to say once again, here is hoping that you have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. weekend. We will see you folks later. Bye-bye. Bye. Let's go eat. Let's go. <laughs>